So I have to ask, Admiral, how did 3.6 million pounds of such toxic waste get stranded next to Pendleton on our beach? Um, it's stuck at Pendleton because there is no repository, uh, long-term repository for the waste um, across the entire country. So until we find a solution, um, that waste will have to sit there. But in the world of, of nuclear, um, the risk factor that we use in the Navy is if there was a risk at all, any percentage whatsoever, you did everything that you possibly could to abate it or you stopped it. Um, and that is not the case um, under the current um, conditions. San Onofre's lethal waste is stored in thin metal canisters placed in a wet, salty environment. These canisters were engineered not for long-term storage in any location, let alone a marine environment 100 feet from a rising ocean. Since temporary storage was the presumption, Edison selected cheaper thin metal canisters that were far less robust than the thick casks being used in most other countries that had nuclear power. Um, in the loading process, um, there is a very large risk that those canisters were scratched as they slid down into their, into their, their uh, storage silo um, completely different from what might have been designed had uh, NRC actually seen a working uh, variant of the, 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 uh, the process, and they, which they did not. We have pictures of a scratch going the full length of the canister. There's a patch maybe four to five inches wide of obvious corrosion. The, the whole design philosophy behind these canisters is that they were there essentially to be a temporary storage until the fuel would be moved to a permanent repository. That is now an open-ended um, time frame. So these temporary canisters are now essentially permanent canisters for all intents and purposes. A much less noticeable threat, I think, is gaining more attention now that the king tides and extreme weather conditions from climate change are becoming more apparent. With sea level rise comes groundwater level rise which currently fluctuates near the bottom of the canisters. Capillary wicking action of moisture allows water to flow through the soil in all directions, including upwards. And by looking at the conditions of the tsunami wall, you can see the effect the ocean has had on metal and concrete. There's no way to unweld the canisters right now to see what the condition of the fuel is inside. So I would rather ask the question, uh, not how long will they last, but how soon could they fail? largest question that everyone who's involved here continues to ask. And it is um, the whole issue on a thin wall canister and how many uh, or what was what has happened to those thin wall canisters in the process of movement. Um, are any of them scratched? Um, did they re receive a scratch? Um, and what? how deep is that scratch? Um, because the corrosion of that thin wall canister is totally dependent on the environment that it's subjected to. And that's where the risk factor really comes in when they say, well, the risk is minimal. Um, the risk is not minimal because it cannot be measured. And if it cannot be measured, then you have to assume that it can occur. So if a tsunami hit songs, um, what type of c catastrophe would we, would we encounter? When it does, the devastating effect will far exceed that of the ongoing Fukushima disaster, simply because of San Onofre's proximity to a very dense population. So much other infrastructure would also be destroyed that nuclear waste at San Onofre could only be protected by addressing this issue before the big one hits. We need to move the canisters to higher ground, switch from thin canisters to thick casks, and build a robust above ground storage facility like they had at Fukushima. Those casks survived unscathed. And then get involved. Um, make sure that individuals understand and uh, and know of what they're facing. Um, it is not um, it is not something that's going to solve itself without pressure. Um, and that pressure needs to come from the local community and the local citizens um, who expect something to be done um, for their own safety sake.